Hi there, welcome back. Like many other computer programs, DaVinci Resolve also supports a great amount of keyboard shortcuts that help you edit more efficiently and get work done faster. Some of the shortcuts may not be as commonly known as those popular ones, but they are very useful in the DaVinci Resolve edit page. The first one I want to show you today is the playback control with JKL keys. You press J to play backward at normal speed and L to play forward. Press K to stop playback. While the clip is playing, pressing J or L repeatedly can increase the speed. Pressing down and holding J or L starts playback at normal speed, it stops when the button is released. Pressing Shift J or Shift L will play fast reverse or forward, and Shift K will play slow. Repeating the press will change the playback speed. To play the clip at slow motion, you can also press and hold both K and J to play backward, press and hold K and L to play forward. You can also use these keys to move playhead frame by frame. Holding K and tapping J to move one frame back, tapping L to move one frame forward. This JKL playback control provides a very intuitive and convenient way to move the playhead around while you preview the content in the viewer. Sometimes you may want to control precisely where to move the playhead or the edits. With these keys, you can either move the playhead to a position specified by absolute timecode entry or offset the playhead from current position by a relative timecode entry. To enter an absolute timecode, press equals, the timecode field at the top right corner gets the focus. Start typing the timecode in the format of hour, minute, second, and frame values, you don't need to enter the colons, press enter when you are done. Now the playhead is moved to 1 minute 10 second and 15 frames. We can also type a period as a pair of zeros to speed up the timecode entry. For example, if we want to move the playhead to one minute, simply type one, period, period, and enter. Right away the playhead is moved to one minute in the timeline. To enter a relative timecode, press plus or minus and type in the timecode. If we want to move the playhead forward two seconds, 10 frames, press plus, and we see that the timecode field is now in focus. Type 210 and enter. The playhead is moved forward by 2 seconds and 10 frames. Similarly, if we want to move the playhead back by 2 seconds, we can type minus 2 period and enter. Immediately the playhead jumps back 2 seconds. Please note that if you have a clip or edit point selected, the timecode command will move or trim the selection. For example, with this title clip selected, type plus 1, 1, 5, and enter, the title clip is moved forward 1 second and 15 frames. If you have this edit point selected, type minus 2, 4, and enter, the clip is now trimmed by 24 frames. Timecode entry is a very handy method to navigate the timeline precisely and quickly, especially if you have a keyboard with the number pad, all keys are within reach without moving your hand. If you just need to move a clip left or right by a few frames, you can also use the nudge commands. Select the clip you want to move, press comma to move the clip left one frame, and press period to move it right one frame at a time. Holding the shift key while pressing comma or period will perform a fast nudge and move the clip left or right by five frames at a time. You can customize the number of frames for the fast nudge command in the user's editing preference. The nudge commands also work for edits. You can use it to shorten or lengthen a clip or roll an edit incrementally. For example, select the edit point at the beginning of the clip and press comma or period to extend or shorten the clip frame by frame. Or press shift comma and shift period to trim or extend the clip five frames at a time. If we select the edit point between two neighboring clips, 
we can press comma and period to roll the edit left or right incrementally one frame at a time. Or press shift comma and shift period to roll it five frames at a time. At the bottom left of the timeline viewer, we can click this button to toggle on and off on-screen control overlay. When the viewer overlay is turned on, we can apply transforming, cropping or dynamic zoom effects to the clip. The open effects overlay and fusion overlay allow us to adjust open effects or fusion effects inside the timeline viewer. But it becomes a bit annoying every time when you toggle the overlay by a mouse click. Luckily DaVinci Resolve offers a keyboard shortcut for this function, simply pressing shift tilde can toggle the overlay on and off, which is very handy. While this command can show and hide the control overlay, it does not give you the option to choose which one to show. You still need to click the button and select the overlay mode you want. Although DaVinci Resolve doesn't have default shortcuts for these overlays, we can open the keyboard customization window and create our own shortcuts for them. For example, I find myself using Transform, Crop, Dynamic Zoom and Fusion mode regularly. So I made these shortcuts in the customization window. Now in the edit page, I can easily switch between different overlay controls with these keyboard shortcuts while keeping my mouse pointer at the current place. Another command I use often is splitting clips. There are different ways of doing this. You can either use the blade tool to split as many clips as you want, or press the control backslash or control B to split at the current playhead position. But I find it awkward to use either control backslash or control B. Both shortcuts require my right hand off my mouse in order to reach both keys. To address this, I created a custom shortcut Shift X through the keyboard customization window. Now I can comfortably move the playhead around with my right hand on the mouse or JKL keys and press Shift X to split the clip with my left hand easily. Next shortcut I want to show is for the play around selection command. With a simple press of forward slash key, it will play the clip around the current position. This is useful if you want to preview the current selection and the immediate surrounding frames. Based on the settings in the user preference, for example in my case, both pre-roll and post-roll time are set to 2 seconds. So if nothing is selected in the timeline, it plays 2 seconds before the playhead and 2 seconds after the playhead, when it stops, the playhead will return to the original position. If a clip is selected, Press forward slash, regardless of the current playhead position, the playback starts 2 seconds before the beginning of the clip, and stops 2 seconds after the clip. The playhead is moved to the beginning of the clip afterwards. If you want to know more keyboard shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve, you can open the keyboard customization window, and browse all the commands and their keyboard mappings. or go through all the submenus from the DaVinci Resolve main menu bar, where the shortcuts are labeled after each command. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.